back to another Monday Monday video where we talk all about things money on Monday. And today I have a special video for you guys. If you're new around here, hello, my name is Kathio, and today I had a little bit too much sugar and I'm a little need to get some energy out, so please bear with me. Hopefully I'm not really obnoxious, but it might be a little hard. Okay, so I have a friend who makes a really good part-time income by selling her photos online. She is a professional photographer, so she does do this as her career. But if you're interested in getting into this, I'm gonna list 10 of the highest paying websites that she uses to make more than $1,000 a month on these online platforms. If you're already a photographer, then I think this video is right up your alley. Okay, let's go. Before we get into the 10 websites, let's just go over to some basic tips and tricks in general to make the most amount of money that you can selling your photography on stock websites. So just before we start, I do not want to overhype any of this. Most people are not going to make a full-time income like she does. Well, it's pretty part-time income because a thousand dollars a month is pretty part-time, but she does make it passively. But I don't want to overhype any of this because she took years and years to get to where she is and she has over 20,000 photos online. Also, if you're already a professional photographer, you can just skip this part because this is going to be for the noobs in the house like myself. <laughs> My first tip is that only high quality photos are going to be accepted. Any low resolution photos that are blurry are not going to be accepted and don't even waste your time. My second tip is obviously if you're going to have high quality photos, you need high quality gear. So a professional camera. Sometimes you can get away with an iPhone X because they have a really good camera on it, but most cameras on your phone aren't going to be high quality enough. But however, I don't recommend just buying a camera sell your photos online but if you already have a camera lying around and you kind of want to play around with it and learn some things and make money maybe on the way then this could be a good option for you. My third tip is you might need release forms if you're going to photograph models and buildings. You need to have their permission obviously if you're going to put their face online and make money off that photograph. Photos also are not going to get accepted if they have brands in the background, names, or license plates. For example, if you're taking a picture of a city background which is sells pretty well but there's a Nike sign in the background or or an Apple sign they're not gonna accept it my fourth tip is honestly if you don't plan on posting thousands of pictures don't expect to make that much money because there's millions of photos that are uploaded every single day and my fifth tip and last one is before you spend your money that you just made on your photographs make sure you take out a little bit for tax because these is a way of income so you will have to think about taxes. So if you're interested in learning more about how to be successful selling photographs online, let me know in the comments below and we can make a part two. But this video is just going to be into the highest paying website. Okay, let's get started. Okay, one more thing. Sorry. One very important tip that my photographer told me is that if you want to make a lot of money, you have to capture with intention. For example, photographs that sell really well include food, health, beauty, fitness, money, business, etc. I could go on. These photos sell really, really well. So you should stick into this, these categories if you want to sell a lot of photos. So the first website is Pond5. Pond5 is reported to have the world's largest collection of stock footage, hosting more than 10.5 million clips as early as 2018. They give you 50% of the sale, which is actually quite high compared to a lot of the other websites we're going to talk about. And they focus on professional royalty-free photographs, pictures, and sounds. What I have seen on Pond5 is that a lot of people are very happy with them and they have thousands of five-star reviews on Trustpilot.com. You can go on their website and play around with the photographs that are doing quite well and kind of what their standard of photographs are. Okay, my second website is called Alami. Alami has over 155 million stock images, vectors, videos, and 360 degree panoramic images you can be among one of the next photographs on Alam. So what I've read on many, 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 many stock photography forums is that Alami used to be a little bit better than it is now, but it really just depends on your photos. There are some photographers like Ryan Harris that makes over $100,000 a year just on this one website, and Jim West who made over $700,000 on Alami. So 
it is possible. But there also are many, many people that only make $25 a month. But on their website, they do say they pay 40% royalty per photo, which will be effective starting February 2019. Right now it's 50%, but they are going to lower to 40% in February 2019. My third website is IAM. IAM seems to be huge among the photographer community. If you just scroll on Google, you can see IAM is a site photographers are having a lot of real success with. You will always receive 50% of the revenue of your photo. The amount of the photo sales depends on the license purchase. Social license sell for $20 per photo and web licenses sell for $50 per photo. So not too shabby. Okay, my next website is Getty. I'm sure you've heard of Getty. It's really, really, really popular. On average, if Getty approves your submission, your content will be worth anywhere between $300 and $500. Getty will pay you 20 to 30 percent of royalty per photo sold. So if your photo sells for $300 times 20 percent, that would be $60. Is that right? $60? Yeah, $60. Yeah, $60. So if you sell three photos a month, times 60 of the 20% royalty of a $300 photo, you will be getting $180 a month if you were to sell three. So those are goals I think are a lot manageable. Okay, my next website is 123RF. 123RF has millions of stock photos, vectors, video clips, and music files at surprisingly low prices. This website pays you upon the more photos you can upload, the more money you're gonna make. So if you only have 250 photos and less, you're only gonna make about 30% per sale, which is a little bit on the low end. But if you have a million photos or lots and lots and lots of photos, for example, you can make up to 60% of royalty per photo, which is actually quite a bit. My next website is iStock iStock pays you 15 to 45 percent depending on the photo, but they do offer up to 22 percent to 45 percent for exclusivity. So if you only want to work on this website, you can have a little bit of a higher rate for royalties. My next website is Shutterstock, probably one of the uglier platforms, but Photoshop is definitely, if not the most popular and well-known site for royalty-free photos. So definitely have the traffic to their website. You can earn up to $120 per image download. But on their website, it does say that Shutterstock will initially pay you 25 cents every time your image is downloaded. And then it raises to 33 cents, then 36 cents, and then 38 cents per download. Okay, my last website is Dreamstime. To guarantee the quality of the photos on Dreamstime, they do have a pretty thorough approval process. But if you do get approved, you can earn 25 to 50% of royalty. And you can earn up to 60% for exclusivity with their website. If you choose to go exclusive with Dreamstime, they'll also pay you an extra 20 cents per photo on top of the 60% royalty. I think that's $2,000 just for 20 cents of 10,000. Is that right? $10,000, 20 cents each. That's like $2,000, yeah. I'll check my math later. <laughs> and that's not even including the 60% that they sell it for. So that could be like really good if you have that many photos. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, let me borrow your thumb for a minute and just click that like button. <laughs> And, and if you know any other websites that pay a pretty good wage for our royalty free stock photos, please let us know in the comment box so we can share all this information and I will see you next week. Bye. Disappear